Houston firefighters are gearing up with new equipment that could save their lives. We are talking about body armor and ballistics helmets. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli is giving us a closer look at the new equipment and how it will be used. Good morning. Sometimes firefighters arrive to dangerous situations before police officers. The body armor they receive today will help save their life. It also increases their chances of saving a life. Shots still being fired. And sometimes we're going into scenes that are not completely stabilized. Unfortunately, it's a sign of the times that we live in. Every day, firefighters put their lives on the line to protect our community. Today, Houston firefighters had their protection upgraded with level three body armor and ballistic helmets. This ballistic protection will allow us to get into those scenes, into those warm zones a little bit quicker, afford us the protection that we need before the scene is completely stabilized to get in there and stop the dying. The faster they respond, the better their chance to save a life. Executive Assistant Fire Chief Richard Mann says these vests and helmets would have helped in previous active shooter situations like the drug raid on Harding Street and the Santa Fe school shooting. EMS and fire service, we need to access the victims quicker. Um, a lot of the victims that died in those incidents were salvageable victims. There were people that we could have saved if we got to, got to them a little bit quicker. This new layer of protection will also enable firefighters to train alongside police. Join together is really is a, a unified public safety response when one of these incidents happen. Each vest weighs about 25 pounds. The cost was split between taxpayer dollars and a federal grant. The risk that we face now require that we have this level of protection. And man says firefighters will start using this body armor when the situation calls for it beginning mid-May. For now in Houston, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, Channel 2 News.